Hey, what's going on, you guys? This is Madam, and I'm coming back to you once again. This time, we're going to go over to the paper, and this is in the entertainment section. The article was by Matt Mor- Morin, and it says, Playboy Cardi arrested for allegedly choking girlfriend. Playboy Cardi has apparently been arrested for illegally assaulting and choking out his pregnant girlfriend after an argument about a paternity test. According to a recent, uh, recently obtained reports, the rapper is accused of grabbing his girlfriend, who was 14, who was 14 weeks pregnant at the time, by the throat and pushing her into some bushes until she could barely breathe. Cardi, whose real name is Jordan Terrell Carter, was booked on charges of felony aggravated assault and hindering a person making an emergency call when the incident took place on December 20th. Cardi's girlfriend, who had been in a relationship with the rapper for two years and had been living with him in his Georgia mansion since July of 2022, told the police that the altercation escalated into a physical violent violence when she brought up the idea of taking a paternity test for her unborn baby. The woman who was not named in the report also told authorities at the time that she thought she was going to die. The woman was able to briefly escape after a witness intervened but was attacked by Cardi again, putting his hands over her mouth as she attempted to use the car's SOS feature to call 911. Upon arriving on the scene, police observed visible injuries to her neck, chest, and back area. Cardi's lawyer, Brian Steele, has refuted the allegations and denied any wrongdoing on his client's behalf. Writing in a statement, Mr. Carter was falsely accused, presumed to be my communications with the Fulton County District Attorney's Office. This case will be dismissed without any uh, prosecution or litigation. Cardi has previously been called out by ex-girlfriend Iggy Azalea for claims that he takes care of his and her and their children. In a series of since-deleted tweets, Azalea disputed claims Cardi made in a double XL interview that he was financially that he financially proves for her and their son, uh, provides, excuse me, provides for her and her son, Onyx Kelly, saying that people have been misled and that she doesn't F with a man I'm not even remotely on good terms with, claiming he pays my bills. The two rappers had previously dated between 2018 and 2020, breaking up amidst allegations that Cardi had cheated on Azalea. And that is the end of the article right there. Um, you know, I, I mean, you, you, you get what you lay with, you know what I'm saying? You know, I mean, what else can you really say about it? You know, stuff that, you know, it is what it is. Um, sometimes people have red flags. You see the red flags, but you ignore the red flags. Uh, be it though because you are romantically involved with this person or you, you know, it's the lifestyle that they live or what they can provide or what, well, or if you could become comfortable in your circumstances. But uh, ultimately, like I said, no one should ever you know be subject to that type of you know abuse regardless of how he treats one person um like Iggy Azalea you know said that he provides for them of course um that doesn't mean that he's going to be the same way for everybody else and people need to take that in account when you deal with some people regardless if they are uh you know, superstars, rappers, athletes, etc., or just normal everyday people. When you see the red flags and you choose not to, you know, uh, relinquish yourself or remove yourself from that situation, um, I'm not going to say that you get what you deserve. However, um, 
you know what you're getting yourself into. So, uh, this is the aftermath of, you know, the young lady in question. And I will keep you updated on this, as I do with every other video that I do. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Please don't forget to drop down in the comment section. Let's chop it up like we always do. And thank you so much. I do appreciate you watching this video. And with that, I will get with you in the next one.